what's up guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be making stuff snapper on the grill and i'm also going to show you guys how to make a quick grill pineapple mango salsa to go on top of this and it's going to be so yummy so let's get started first we're going to go and grab us some fresh snapper and i have a local fish mart and seafood um next to my house so that's where i got my snapper from hopefully you guys can find a nice big piece of fresh snapper if not the individual snappers will be just fine and i'm sure everybody will love having their own snapper i'm just making this dinner tonight for me my boyfriend and his sister so this one huge snapper was more than enough for all three of us um, there was none left, but it was enough for us. <laughs> so I hope you guys can find a nice fresh piece. And what I do is I tell um, them to gut the fish and scale it. I say I want my head and my tail on, just gut and scale. So you saw me clean it and then I just added some salt. And now we're about to prep the, the fish right now. So here we go. Um, I like to season and stuff my snapper actually on the foil that I'm using because I don't want to waste any seasonings. I don't want to waste any butter, any peppers. So we're going to get this guy on the foil. And as you can see, he's been gutted. He's clean. He doesn't have any scales on. And another reason I don't have gloves on is because I'm cooking for my family at home. My hands are clean. But if I was cooking for clients, of course, I would have gloves on. I just like to honestly feel my food. Um, this way I can feel if there's any more scales on. Um, and yeah, I'm a chef. I just love touching my food. <laughs> um, and that's another reason why I put my seasonings in a separate container so I don't have to keep touching my seasonings while I'm working with raw meats and raw foods. So here we go. So we're going to season both sides of the fish and the inside, guys. Season both sides and the inside for that flavor. Snapper um, is a really tasty fish, but it needs a lot of seasoning. Not too much salt, but we definitely want to go heavy on our rub now i mix myself a mediterranean rub and if you guys want the recipe for that just let me know so as you can see i put some olive oil on it and i'm just rubbing it down with my seasoning now i have some garlic paste that i'm going to squeeze inside of my fish i don't have to put it on top you can if you want but i chose to get a nice amount inside my fish since that's where all the flavors are going to be married after that, I already have my peppers cut. So I have red peppers, green peppers, yellow peppers, orange peppers. I also have red onions, as you can see here, right on time. And I'm just gonna stuff this fish with all of my peppers and all of my onions. And I also have some fresh thyme and some fresh oregano, which goes so great with the Mediterranean season that I already have. So you can stuff your snapper with whatever you want, but I like to stuff mine with pepper, especially these nice big pieces of snapper. They look good, they smell good. This is so easy to make and it's spring and it's summertime. So we definitely wanna use our grill a little bit more. Um, and yeah, so. That's all we need to do. I'm just trying to get him up in here. And you kind of have to be patient with this part because <laughs> I want as many peppers as I can fit in here as possible. So we're going to just kind of play around with the inside and make sure we get him nice and stuffed. Also, what I did forget to record in this video because I actually forgot to do this. Um, so I had to actually unwrap my fish and put the slits, like three to four horizontal slits on your snapper. You can do two if you have smaller ones, but you definitely want to slit that skin at the top here where you see it seasoning. You don't have to do the top and the bottom, but I like to do... Um, <clears throat> at least the top where I'm going to be placing that butter. I also um, have two sticks of butter that I slice in half 
So I'm going to be putting one stick of butter inside the fish and one stick of butter on top of this fish. Like I said, guys, this is a really big fish. You don't have to use that much butter, but depending on how you're making this, it's very easy for this fish to dry out. So I want to be safe while it's on the grill and really um, make sure my fish doesn't dry out. So that's why I'm using two sticks of butter and also because of the size of the fish now this fish is about three and a half pounds um my grill is already on right now um, i already have the charcoal and stuff it's already getting heated up so you want to kind of heat that before you start stuffing your fish and as you can see in the beginning of the video i actually cleaned my fish with a lime and some cold water you can also use um lemon to clean your fish as well However you clean it, just make sure it's nice and clean. Um, and it really takes away a lot of that fishy kind of smell. If you have that, this fish was very, very fresh. So I didn't even have a smell, but I still cleaned it anyways. Because that's just what we're going to do. So now you see I'm adding the oregano and the thyme. As you can see here and we're just gonna stuff it make it look nice after we stuff it here goes those butter that i told you i cut in half so i have one at the bottom of the peppers and then i have one on top of the peppers inside of the fish now on top of the fish i'm also going to be putting um that other stick of butter and i slice these butters in half again so it looks like I'm using two sticks at the top, but I'm actually just using one. I sliced it um, in half the long way so it can lay nice and flat. I also cut up some lemons and some limes, and I'm going to put that on top of the fish. Because we're wrapping the fish in foil, I'm putting the lemons and the limes and the butter on top. So that way when we wrap the fish with the foil and we take the foil off, it's not going to be stuck to our fish. It's not going to peel back our skin from the fish. It's actually going, the lemons and the limes give it flavor, of course, but it also protects our foil from um, taking off that nice seasoned skin that we have. So you can just wrap it up. And this is the first piece of foil. I'm going to actually use a bigger piece after I get this guy closed and wrap it again just because this piece isn't big enough. And I also want to make sure that my butters and stuff don't come out of my foil. So this is how it looks and it's on the grill. And while that's on the grill, we're going to get our pineapple salsa together. Yep, our pineapple salsa. I had the fish on the grill for about an hour. So I'm just going to slice up some um, pineapples. And I'm going to put these on the grill. Because these are what we're going to use for our salsa. I'm also going to chop up some mangoes. I didn't grill the mango. Um, we only grilled the pineapple for this recipe. And this recipe just calls for cilantro finely chopped red peppers and I have red bell peppers that are finely chopped and then you also are going to need one to two limes depending on how you like your salsa I use two fresh key limes so now that I have my pineapples off the grill we only have to grill them on both sides and we still want them nice and juicy and as you can see these are grilled but they're still nice and juicy and I have all four of my ingredients in here for my pineapple salsa. And yeah, I'm just giving you guys a closer look. So and we're just gonna add that lime juice. I'm not adding any spices to my pineapple salsa because I want it to be really fresh, but you guys feel free to add any spices that you want. I'm just gonna add the lime here. I like the flavor of the pineapples, the mangoes, we have some diced bell red peppers again and some fresh cilantro. And I promise you, if you try this way, you will not need any seasonings. But please 
tweak this to your liking because I want you guys to enjoy this just as much as we did tonight. Um, another thing that I don't mind adding but I didn't add today is some freshly chopped mint. Now if I was doing a jerk snapper then I would definitely put some chopped mint just to kind of break down that heat and give it because the pineapples and the mangoes are already giving flavors <laughs> so if you want to add some mint you can um if not this way is very basic and it's very good and i just want you guys to try it and taste it before you add anything just so you know what flavors you want to add before just going crazy in the seasoning cabinet so as you can see here i'm just stirring that nice pineapple salsa and my fish is on the grill now i'm going to make a butter to go on top so i have a half a stick of butter the rest of my mediterranean season and some garlic moving on while that's melting down we're going to take some more peppers and i like to cut these in rings and we're just going to use a skillet in the house and kind of you know just kind of give it a nice um, saute just with some olive oil and I have some five salt five pepper seasonings on my peppers and this is the fish off of the grill guys and you can see the skin is still there as you can see I have those slits like I told you you have to put those slits on your fish so please watch the videos in full before you just go in and just start because I, I don't want you guys to forget steps like I did so after we pour the butter on there, I just put our peppers on top and we're going to serve this with our pineapple mango salsa. And I'm just giving you guys a look on how I serve this. I just put the peppers on top and then we also have some fresh cilantro on top of our snapper too. I serve this with some lemon wedges for people who like to squeeze lemon on their fish. I know I do. Well, we all do so this is how it looks in the inside it comes right off of the bone I just use two big spoons just to slide the fish off it's so juicy it's so good and I paired this with some bacon Brussels sprouts and I also have some garlic butter rice this meal was amazing put the pineapple salsa on top and you you want to know a secret i loved it like and subscribe <laughs>